Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to discuss about error. I mean error is inevitable if you are a programmer. So in Rx Java we do get a lot of error too. So if you talk about a lot of people, uh, you may heard people saying that Rx Java is very good with handling error and all that. So um, if you ask me honestly, there are a lot of great operators to handle errors in Rx Java gracefully. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first error handling operator that we are going to see is uh, do on error. So let's go ahead and uh, try to chain do on error. And as you can see there, it takes a consumer. So consumer is nothing but an interface which has only one uh, function. So we are going to get the error here. and uh, we can do anything with this error so uh, just uh, comment out this thing and let me uh, run and uh, show you what actually what it actually shows so it uh, prints out subscribed error this is an example error so it basically goes to this error block so if you don't uh, want this to go to your error block and want if you want to handle the error here you can do it very easily so you can uh, uh, just handle it here. So let's go ahead and type in error and uh, let's go ahead and print the message here. So yeah, let me run here. So as you can see that it goes to this block uh, error. This is an example error. So it goes to this block here. So you can handle your error in this do on error section as well. Okay, so as we understand the do on error, so let's go ahead and check out one another operator here so this is on error resume next so let's go ahead and see how on error resume next works uh, so let me go ahead and chain on error resume next so let's go ahead and uh, pass in the observable dot just one two three four five uh, so let me go ahead and uh, show you what it is actually so it basically takes observable source uh, what this means is if you uh, run this uh, so just uh, let me comment it out and uh, if you run this you will see that it is printing out one two three four five so instead of showing you this error it is just taking another observable and it is su it subscribed to that observable this operator is great if you just want to replace your observable with something else when you get an error uh, so let me show you another error handling operator called on error return. So uh, let me chain on error return. So it, this basically uh, gives you the error, and you can take uh, decision based on the based on this error. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, suppose I'm checking that if this error is an instance of uh, say IO exception. Uh, this can be anything guys uh, so i'm just uh, giving you an example here and uh, if it is not then i'm going to return one uh, suppose uh, i'm doing this and uh, this as you can see that it is an io exception so let me go ahead and uh, run this and you get the uh, zero here so let me go ahead and uh, remove the io here and there we go it returns one and you can uh, do some fun style stuff like that also like if you, you can uh, throw another exception from here as well uh, so suppose uh, this is an exception so both of these exceptions are going to get there it is going to show that uh, there are two exceptions occurred in this case so uh, you can do some fun stuff like that as well so yeah that's uh, one operator so let's go ahead and uh, see another operator called on error return item so i'm just going to chain on error return item here and this thing uh, takes an object so it basically replaces uh, you know it uh, when you get an error it it passes an object any object uh, to your subscriber so i can say pass one and or i can maybe say my name or anything like hello world so it doesn't really matter basically it takes an object so if you run this you will get this hello world here so yeah that's it uh this this is the most uh, simplest error handling operator in this uh, in rx java you can say so it basically takes an object uh, as a replacement whenever you get an error so you can pass like one here as well so you can just run it yeah and it works 
so if you have any doubt about the rx java error handling operator said there and there are more so i'm going to show this in the next part of this video so just ask me on my social handles and i'll surely get back to you and don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell icon so that you don't miss the video that we upload every sunday it's me to signing off thank you for stopping by see you next sunday